Hola, I'm Krishna Panika, Skype's product manager for Mac, and we've just released the new Skype 5.0 beta for Mac. Now it's quite a big update, so I'd like to spend a little time running through some of the features. One of our aims was to keep the Skype experience much more native to the Mac, and we try to keep things simple by having all the functionality available in one window. A few of my colleagues will join us shortly to tell us what they think, but for now, let me run you through some of the basics. Firstly, we've integrated your Mac address book with Skype. It's right below your Skype contacts, so you can call people directly. We've also made adding contacts a bit simpler. I just have to click Add Contact, and let's say I'm looking for Red Blogs, then click here. If I wanted to, I could also now go to the sidebar, click the plus button, and add in that way too. As you can see, we've introduced a floating dial pad to make it easier to call or text people, even those who aren't in your contact list. But let me contact Kim, as I already have her number. If I search for her here, you'll see I can call her on Skype or on her mobile. But I can also use this button to message her. I'll send her a text message now to tell her I'll be calling her on Skype. The new sidebar gives you easy access to your contacts, contact groups, and recent conversations. You can also see when people message you right here in the sidebar. I can even mark a conversation as favorite so I have easy access to it. Great, Jim's messaged me to say he's ready to start chatting. The search functionality is a whole lot smarter too, allowing you to find contacts and all the conversations you've had with them. You can also search for specific words in your chats. You can now add more details to your friends' profiles, so it's easier to contact them. If we look at Jim here, I can add his US landline number, so I can call him even when he's not on Skype. I can also edit my own profile really easily and give my friends more ways to contact me, add a little bit about myself and what I'm up to. Okay, so we've been through some of our new features. Now let's get a few of the Skype team together on a group video call and see what they have to say. To enjoy a group video call, everyone on the call will need to have the 5.0 version of Mac or Windows installed on their machine. Hey Kim, how you doing? Hey Chris. Good to see you. So I'm going to call the other guys in. So I've got Jim and Nick. Great. Hey guys, how you doing? Great. Hey guys. Awesome, so we have uh, Jim in our Estonian office, head of product design, and Kim, who's in our PR team, <laughs> and Nick, who's uh, one of the engineers in the Mac team. So Jim, um, question for you. What's behind the new design in the new Skype for Mac? Well, Krishna, from a design perspective, the most important thing about the new Mac release really isn't any one particular feature, but that we've made the overall experience friendlier and emphasize what people really want to do, which is to communicate. So the release is streamlined and more inviting and yet still powerful. Great, thanks, Jim. And Nick, what's your favorite feature? Well, Krishna, I gotta say it's push to talk. Um, I'm in lots of conference calls, uh, very much like this one, and it makes it really easy to know when you're speaking and when people can hear you, and the rest of the time you're muted. You just press Control, Option, and Command, and then the up arrow, those four keys, and then when you don't want to talk anymore, you lift up your fingers and... Awesome. Thanks for that, Nick. So, Kim, anything you wanted to let our uh, Mac community know? Well, one of the cool new features that I love is the avatar view, which displays your contacts in a photo book type style. And it's a fun 
fun and, and easy way to find the people that you want to connect with. Uh, we're really excited for the Mac users to download the new beta from stickype.com and, and tell us what they think. Great. Thanks for your time, guys. That's really appreciated. Chat soon. Bye. Bye. So that's a quick introduction to some of the new features in Skype 5.0 Beta for Mac. We'll be releasing the goal soon, but in the meantime, please upgrade to the Beta. We'd love to know what you think, so please click on Skype in the menu bar and give us your feedback.